Just wait for tomorrow. Apple <laughs> and Amazon headlining another jam-packed earnings day. We're going to break down the results for you here on Overtime. Our next guest is joining us with what he's expecting from Apple. Let's bring in Melius Research Managing Director Ben Wright. Says, ben, we just heard from Qualcomm, and it sounds like somebody who does licensing of technology from them but doesn't get chips, Apple, might have pulled in orders a bit. Also, China Week. China tends to be somewhat important for Apple. How much, if at all, does that matter based on what you expect? Well, it's hard to know, John, and it's good to see you, by the way. Uh, it's hard to know uh, until you hear the call because Qualcomm typically talks about their Android versus their modem only customer. So last quarter they said Apple, the modem only, would be a headwind, and they said Android would be flat. And that was pretty aggressive given what we saw in China that Android would be flat. So what we got to listen to in the Qualcomm call is what they think for, of their modem only customer for the fourth quarter, what's embedded in that guidance, a little squishy, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's a continuation of the Android trends they're seeing. And actually Apple may be a part of that. Uh, Apple is uh, doing rather well in certain emerging markets, uh, gaining share, um, India, rest of world. And the other thing is there's a robust secondhand Apple market, which could be impacting Android. So we'll be trying to navigate those. The minute we're done, I'm, I'm hopping on that call. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so what's going to matter most then for Apple when it does report tomorrow? Is it going to be the iPhone uh, and, and the color we get and, and, the, and the forecast for the September quarter? Is it going to be services? Is it going to be something else? I think it's kind of simple. Um, the street's looking for a modest revenue decline, and can they back year-over-year -year growth in the September quarter? Um, that will imply the iPhones can go up sequentially. There's some concerns around production of the iPhone 15, which looks like a good upgrade, by the way. Uh, and if they're able to back year-over-year -year growth, I think we get the all-clear sign. Ben, is this a quarter when, uh, and I'm partly like leading you here, <laughs> where services... Uh, those signs of loyalty, the strength of retail, showing that that's holding up perhaps matters more than the numbers themselves because this isn't the big quarter for Apple. Yeah. You really want to feel like Q4 perhaps is going to outperform and maybe like some of the luxury strength that you've seen in China despite the overall uh, economy being weaker might accrue to Apple. Uh, yeah, you want to see that, you know, there's some macro headwinds out there. And this this company is, you know, the, the strongest brand in the world. Uh, Tim is executing really well. Um, I think Luca probably bought back a bunch of stock and he's going to probably be committed to doing that. I think that Apple is stable uh, based on our checks and into the fourth quarter, into the September quarter for them. You want to see that they're upbeat about the iPhone that there's an upgrade cycle that can begin. Remember, there was a huge COVID bump in demand in 2021. There's a lot of 12s out there that need to be upgraded. So we're going to want to hear about that, not only in emerging markets, which everybody's you know, chattering about, mm -hmm. but around the world. And, and I, think, I think that as long as it's OK, uh, we're in a good place. In an earnings cycle where everybody's talking about AI, how much does that matter? Well, I think it matters a lot for Apple as potential upside. They keep things really close to the vest. I personally think that they're going to have a big say in AI. They have mobile real estate that's extremely valuable. Uh, and the recent chatter around them having their own chat GPT going internally that they may offer for customers could be upside to their services business. Imagine if they had AI-enabled services that were secure uh, interacting with your iPhone uh, in the future which I do think they can have their silicon innovations and their software point towards them being a player in AI. I just don't mm -hmm. know if you'll hear it on the call, but their silicon and their software roadmaps show they will be.